Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night. In the pitch black night, a dreaded notification pops up on an Uber driver's screen, a ride request from a desolate location. An isolated pin drops on a vague map, a location devoid of life, devoid of the usual hustle and bustle that accompanies the night. A chill runs down the spine of our protagonist, an Uber driver, a man not easily shaken, a man of courage and curiosity, yet this request seems to stir something within him. This isn't his first late-night ride nor his first trip to a remote location. But there's something about this one that feels different. An eerie feeling of unease that he just can't shake off. He glances at his screen again. The glowing request in the darkness feels like a beacon calling him towards something, something dreadful. His curiosity peaked, he decides to accept. A decision he may later regret or perhaps a decision that might shape his destiny. His thumb hovers over the accept button for a moment before finally pressing down. A soft ding resonates in the silent car, sealing his fate. He grips the steering wheel, his knuckles white against the dim light of his dashboard. He starts his car and plunges into the night. The city's neon glow fades into the rearview mirror, replaced by the haunting darkness of the outskirts. A lone car making its way through the deserted streets, its headlights piercing the darkness, casting long ghostly shadows. The journey begins, an adventure into the unknown, a path that leads to an isolated location, a path that seems to be getting darker and darker with each passing mile. The silence is only broken by the occasional hum of the engine and the soft chime of his GPS, guiding him towards his destination. His heart pounds in his chest, a steady drum echoing his escalating fear. Yet he drives on. A silent vow to himself to see this through, a testament to his courage. He's steering his car into the abyss of the unknown, into a night that promises to be anything but ordinary. As he ventures into the night, little does he know, he is steering his car into the abyss of the unknown. The GPS directs him to a route less traveled, a route known for its eerie tales, the haunted highways. The haunted highways, as the locals call them, have a long and chilling history. They are not your typical roads. They are the kind of roads that make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, even in broad daylight. Over the years, numerous tales have surfaced about these unsettling stretches of asphalt, stories of ghostly apparitions, of phantom hitchhikers, and of cars that seem to drive themselves. The driver, a seasoned man of the roads, can't help but feel a shiver run down his spine as he ventures onto this notorious route. The usual hum of the city fades away, replaced by an abnormal silence that seems to swallow up all other sounds. The streetlights flicker and dim, casting long menacing shadows that dance and writhe across the road. These highways have claimed many a brave soul who dared to traverse them. There are tales of drivers who've seen ghostly figures standing in the road only to vanish when approached. There are whispers of spectral cars appearing and disappearing into thin air. And there are stories of strange, disembodied voices echoing through the radio, speaking in tongues that no living person can understand. The driver, despite being a rational man, starts to feel a creepy sensation crawling up his spine. He can't shake off the feeling of being watched, of being followed. The road ahead looks darker, the shadows deeper, the silence more profound. The passenger, oblivious to the driver's growing unease, continues to scroll through his phone, unaware of the eerie world outside his window. Even the trees lining the highway seem to lean in, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers as if trying to snatch away the car from the road. The highway seems to come alive, the asphalt seeming to breathe beneath the tires, the lines on the road seeming to twist and turn in a hypnotic dance. With each passing mile, the driver feels a growing unease, a sense of dread that something is not right. Arriving at the pickup location, the driver discovers his passenger, a mysterious figure shrouded in the darkness. The passenger's silhouette seems to merge with the shadows, creating an eerie illusion that sends a shiver down the driver's spine. The only visible sign of his presence is the faint glow of his smartphone screen, casting a ghostly pallor on his concealed features. The driver takes a deep breath, trying to shake off the uneasiness creeping over him. He opens the car door and the passenger steps in, bringing with him a cold gust of wind that seems to carry whispers of forgotten tales. The car door shuts with a resounding thud, sealing them both in the confined space of the vehicle. 
As the journey begins, the driver attempts to engage his passenger in conversation. His words hang in the air, creating an echo that bounces off the car's interior. The passenger remains silent. His responses are limited to cryptic whispers and unnerving nods. Every word uttered by the passenger seems to carry a weight, a hidden meaning that the driver can't quite decipher. The driver talks about the weather, local sports, even the latest trending topics, but his attempts to lighten the mood are met with cold indifference. The passenger's responses remain cryptic, almost riddle-like. His words, though few, are laced with an eerie undertone that sends a chill down the driver's spine. As the car continues its journey, the silence grows heavier. It is a silence that seems to have a life of its own, a tangible presence in the car. It's as if the silence itself is a passenger, a silent observer to the strange encounter unfolding within the confines of the vehicle. The driver glances at his passenger through the rearview mirror. The passenger's face remains hidden, his identity shrouded in the enveloping darkness. The only sound in the car is the soft hum of the engine and the cryptic whispers of the passenger. The whispers, though barely audible, are chilling, each one sending a wave of unease through the driver. The silence in the car is broken only by the cryptic whispers of the passenger sending chills down the driver's spine. As they journey through the haunted highway, the road itself seems to come alive with paranormal activity. The car, seemingly possessed by an unseen force, begins to act of its own accord. The radio, previously tuned to a station playing cheerful music, abruptly changes channels. It now plays eerie tunes, songs of another era long since forgotten. The melodies are haunting, the lyrics chilling, and the static in between each song is unnerving. It's as if the radio is channeling spirits from a bygone era, broadcasting their mournful songs into the present. The car's lights, once a beacon of safety in the enveloping darkness, start to flicker. One moment they illuminate the winding road ahead, the next, they plunge the car into an abyss of darkness. The driver, gripped by a growing fear, attempts to regain control, but the lights continue their ominous dance, flickering like a Morse code from the other side. Suddenly the temperature inside the car drops dramatically. It's as if the car has become a vessel sailing through a sea of icy spectral air. The driver can see his breath misting in the cold, his hands gripping the steering wheel turn numb, and he can feel goosebumps prickling his skin. The chill isn't just physical. It's a bone-deep, soul-piercing cold that seems to seep into his very being. As he navigates through the haunted highway, the driver's fear escalates. He can feel a presence and energy that's not his own. It's as if the highway, the car, the radio, and even the air around him are all part of a grand paranormal performance. Every flicker of the lights, every eerie tune from the radio, every drop in temperature is a scene in this terrifying play. A play in which he's the unwilling protagonist. The haunted highway is living up to its chilling reputation, making the driver question his decision to accept this ride. Despite driving for hours, the GPS shows they are still miles away from the destination. An eerie feeling of dread seeps into the driver's bones, a chilling realization that the road is stretching out before him, unending and relentless. The driver's eyes are heavy, the weight of countless hours pressing down, yet the glowing digits on the dashboard clock seem frozen in a moment untouched by the passage of time. The destination, a beacon of safety and finality, remains an elusive mirage, teasing him from a distance that seems no closer than when he first embarked on this cursed journey. In the back seat, the passenger continues their unsettling litany, a whispering echo of stories that chill the blood and raise the hairs on the back of the driver's neck, tales of ghostly apparitions, of roads that twist and turn upon themselves, of destinations that shift and change, refusing to be reached. The driver's heart pounds in his chest, a staccato rhythm that drowns out the hum of the car's engine and the passenger's eerie whispers. A decision forms in the driver's mind, a desperate plan to escape this nightmarish ride. He will end this journey here, turn the car around and flee from the haunted highway that stretches out before him. His grip tightens on the steering wheel, knuckles turning an ashen white as he steers the car towards the side of the road. But as he tries to turn the car around, the engine sputters and dies, leaving them stranded in the middle of the haunted highway. The lights flicker and die, plunging them into a darkness so thick it seems to swallow the car whole. The whispers from the backseat cease, replaced by an oppressive silence that rings louder in the driver's ears than any ghostly tale. 
Stranded alone in the heart of the haunted highway, the unending journey continues. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come alone. <laughs>